The IAI Heron is a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the Malat Division of Israel Aerospace Industries. It is capable of medium-altitude long-endurance operations of up to 52 hours duration at up to 10.5 km. It has demonstrated 52 hours of continuous flight, but the effective operational maximal flight duration is less, according to payload and flight profile. There is a new version, Heron TP, also known as IAI Eton. On September 11, 2005, it was announced that the Israel Defense Forces purchased 50 million US dollars worth of Heron systems. Design and Development Heron navigates using an internal GPS navigation device, and either a pre programmed flight profile, manual override from a ground control station, or a combination of both. It can autonomously return to base and land in case of lost communication with the ground station. The system has fully automatic launch and recovery and all weather capabilities. Heron can carry an array of sensors, including thermographic camera and visible light airborne ground surveillance intelligent systems and various radar systems, totaling up to 250 kilograms. Heron is also capable of target acquisition and artillery adjustment. The payload sensors communicate with the ground control station in real time, using either direct line of sight data link, or via an airborne satellite relay. Like the navigation system, the payload can also be used in either a fully pre-programmed autonomous mode or manual real-time remote operation, or a combination of both. Equals Super Heron equals, at the Singapore Air Show in February 2014, IAI unveiled a Super Heron refinement of the Heron UAS. The Super Heron has a heavy fuel 200 horsepower engine that increases its rate of climb and performance. Its range is 250 km line of sight and 1000 km by satellite control. Endurance is 45 hours at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet. Cruising speed is 60 to 80 kn and top speed over 150 kn. Operational history, the Heron saw significant use during Operation Cast Lead in Gaza of 2008 to Euro 2009. During the deployment, each brigade combat team was assigned a UAV squadron for close support. This was the first Israeli operation in which UAVs helicopters, and fighter jets were allocated to ground forces directly without IAF Central Command authorizing sorties. Air support controller teams operated alongside brigade commanders at the front emphasizing the brigade commander's utilization of direct air assets. A high degree of situational awareness was achieved by maintaining at least a dozen UAVs in flight over Gaza at all times. Aerial surveillance was provided by Heron and Hermes 450 UAVs and Apache attack helicopters. Along with coordination between the Air Force and ground troops, Israel ground forces were able to utilize cooperation with the Israel Security Agency by having operatives attached to the Ford units. This inter-service coordination allowed for a higher level of tactical awareness and the ability to strike time-critical targets. Other countries operating the Heron include Singapore, India and Turkey. France operates a derivative of Heron named Eagle or Hafang. In 2008, Canada announced a plan to lease a Heron for use in Afghanistan, starting in 2009. As of mid-2009, Australia is leasing two Herons as part of a multi-million dollar lease to operate the vehicles in Afghanistan. In early July 2013, the Heron reached 15,000 flight hours over Afghanistan. Heron variants, Turkey operates a special variant of the Heron, which utilizes Turkish-designed and manufactured electro-optical subsystems. For example, the Turkish Herons use the Aselflia 300T airborne thermal imaging and targeting system designed and manufactured by Aselson of Turkey. The Turkish Herons also have stronger engines in order to compensate for the added payload created by the heavier Aselflia 300T. This is the same FLIR system currently used in the TAI Egerstorst Land T-129 attack helicopter and also the TAI Anchor Mail UAV. IAI staff maintain that the Turkish Herons with its enhanced performance, is better than all existing Heron UAVs operating worldwide a Euro. Turkish Aerospace Industries provides maintenance and overhaul services for its herons. EADS Hafang, 
variant operated by France. Operators Azerbaijan, Azerbaijani Air Forces, 5, Australia, Royal Australian Air Force Euro 4, Brazil, Brazilian Federal Police 15, Canada, Royal Canadian Air Force Euro formerly operated 3. 2 plus still in operation, the rest ceased operation in 2011, Ecuador, Ecuadorian Navy a Euro 2, Germany, German Air Force a Euro 3 plus 2 ground stations on an initial one-year lease starting in 2010, India, Indian Air Force a Euro 50, Indian Navy, Israel, Israeli Defense Force a Euro 1 plus, Morocco, Royal Moroccan Air Force a Euro 3, Singapore, Republic of Singapore Air Force a Euro 2, Republic of Korea, Republic of Korea Army a Euro 3 on order, Turkey, Turkish Air Force a Euro 10, United States, United States Navy a Euro 2, Mexico. Federal Police a Euro 3. Specifications, data from Heron Eaton. Israeli-weapons.com. Retrieved November 18, 2012. General Characteristics, Crew, 2 on ground, Length, 8.5 meters. Wingspan, 16.60 m, height, max takeoff weight, 1,150 kg, power plant, 1A, Rotax 914, 86 kW, performance, maximum speed, 207 km per hour, range, 350 km, service ceiling, 10,000 m, rate of climb, 150 m per minute, wing loading, 89 kg mass squared, endurance, 52 hours, payload, 250 kg. See also Related development, IAI Eaton, EADS Hufang, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, Shard 129, Photros, EADS Hufang, MQ-1 Predator, DRDO Rustam, TAI Anchor, Nescom Barak. References External links, IAI Heron official page, IAI Heron update, mail UAV applications, UAV sensor applications, EO sensors for UAVs, SAR sensors for UAVs, Heron UAV news at Defense Talk.